Hello and welcome to a golf club actually. Uh, well this is an Obey tailgater and being a big four door saloon driven mainly by businessmen it'll spend a lot of time in the golf course and it's actually one of the best spawn points for this car. And as you can see it's actually quite a smart looking car. Most big four door saloons are ungainly, un uh, ungainly and not nice to look at. That took a long time to get out. But this one really isn't. It's a nice looking car. As you can see, it's got some powerful headlights as well, useful if you're a businessman. And yes, I am deliberately driving the wrong way down the golf car park because I know it just annoys the AI when you do that. Anyway, the thing about the tail data is that despite being a beard four-door saloon, it handles really, really nicely. This will outhandle quite a few cars in a sports class, which surprised me, actually. You wouldn't really think this would be a good handling car, but it actually goes around corners really nicely, you can chuck it from corner to corner, and it'll keep going. It's not that bad in a straight line either, okay, it's not exactly a supercar, as I squeeze through a really tight gap, I'm amazed it actually fits through there. Oh, I've just said, it's not exactly a supercar, but, you know, it's, it'll do for a big four-door saloon, it is one of the faster cars in a straight line, it's not as quick as cars like the Chevrolet Fugitive and its main rival, the Benefactor Shafter, which we have a review of coming up later on in the series, but still, there's no denying it's a quick car. And, like I said, the power is usable, it's not hard to drive, it doesn't spin out often as I have a monumental accident, and the person in their little uh, hatchback thing drives off. It's brilliant, that is, how they just drive off, they don't care. They don't care that you just drove into the side of them about... 70 odd miles an hour, they just drive off. It's brilliant! Anyway, that also proves that this tailgater is a very, very strong car. I mean, you can have some fairly big accidents and it'll keep going. Okay, it will eventually give out on you, but realistic to the car it's based off in real life, an Audi A6, it's a very tough car as I part on someone's driveway. A, because they have a Maserati Coupe, and B, because it's a big posh house and it proves just how posh looking this car is. You can park it in a big posh house like this and it'll look fine and it even goes fairly well with that Maserati Jaguar Coupe thing which is a bit of a surprise because you wouldn't really expect it. Also you will notice that notification there saying that uh, someone's offline. Ignore that, There's, I've got the notifications off because I'm unprofessional. There's almost rolled it through there. As you'll see, not the best at handbrake turns. Didn't really do anything. But, usefully here, it is a good off-roader, as I prove not much damage done from that, and it is also fairly quick off-road, as I have a spin. I ignore that, yeah, ignore that. That wasn't the car's fault, that was my fault. So, as I've proven, it's a very, very quick car, but one of the biggest downsides, and really the only downside of this car, is it's a very, very hard car to find. If you know where to look, and you have it on a Simeon's list of cars to steal, you will find it fairly easily, but still, it's certainly not the easiest car to find. It's not incredibly hard, but still. Anyway, it's time to hand this car over to our tame racing driver, the Stick. Off it goes and see the Tailgate gets a fairly good launch. Not as good as the Sultan, but it will be interesting to see how these two cars compare. But of course, the Sultan is in a sports class, so if there was a bit of lag there, it lagged while I'm doing the voiceover. For this, I'm not sure if it will lag on the YouTube video. If it does, apologies, and nothing I can do. It did, you can see lots of wheel spin. All the cars are wheel spin a lot, and also get a bit of understeer through there. This tail data is, of course, one of them that's done that through the left hander. Nicely done. You can carry some good speed through the corners, round the outside of the box, different line to the Sultan that went down the inside of it, into the handbrake hairpin. Again, you can see it's not really going around those corners very well. Anyway, up to the first of the chicanes. Gets through there nicely, not as quick as we've seen other cars, but v quite neat. Through the second chicane again, neat, not too quick, but neat. Gets around the final corner, here we are. Coming up to the final corner now. Good line through there, and across the line, in 56.360. It's the second quick start. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.